<laughs> Floyd the doctor. And, you know, but yeah, you get that specialty shit. And, you know, it's like these patients will never let you alone. You know, they're always going to be nagging you like, oh, my artificial heart is sounding a little clinky. You know, I think you need to check it, doctor. You know, and you're always stuck with the responsibility. You know, you put it in, so you got to, you know, it's like it's your fault. Uh, do you think Obama's new health care plan is going to cover uh, ball doctors or no? <laughs> well, it's, it's probably got a preference towards asshole doctors, you know, since it's an Obama plan. <laughs> Anticlimactic. I don't know what, what what's what's the climax supposed to be. <laughs> so he's actually supposed to explode. Yeah, that's for the fourth. I should have done that. I should have bought some bunch of fireworks and exploded myself. Uh, well, look, someday something will happen. Trust me. Fake battery has gone out of my fake cigarette. Ugh, fuck. Ah, okay. That's nah, good PhD stuff. But I don't know what you're gonna do, PhD and what do mathematicians do? I mean, I had one who lived next door, this lady mathematician. And it was really nice because, you know, they'd have garage sales and she'd have a ton of really cool books and stuff. But it's like, what what the fuck do mathematicians do? I mean, you know, what, you know, how how is that, like, what book could it be like a doctor of math? I mean, what the hell is that? What, what, the, what do you do with that? Like, tell people how far away the store is exactly? I mean, what do, what do you do with it? Useful applications, or at least if you if you move their field into another field, it's probably either engineering or chemistry, maybe physics, but engineering and chemistry mostly. Because you can use all of that in those two fields a lot. Yeah, well, that's why I liked you know, the books, because she had a lot of like chemistry and biology and physics books. So that was cool, you know, so I get free books, you know, and almost free. And, uh, but like I said, I just, I just never got the idea of what the fuck you actually do with this, you know, official mathematician title. I mean, you know, computers are sort of, you know, calculators, they've been around a long time, <laughs> who the fuck needs a mathematician? I can do multiplication expertly. <laughs> you know, what the hell is that? Who cares? Whoops, I've now got my mic on. I was just commenting on your hat, Nuclear Knight. Uh, what is it with the hat? It's summer now. You don't have the I'm cold bullshit excuse anymore. It's really, it's, it has been very cold in the Pacific Northwest. We've gotten more rain um, on record than ever before. I forgot. Yeah, it's that's right. You live, in, here. <laughs> like you live in that, that, that shithole, that wet, dank, moldy shithole of a state. I forgot. Alright, whatever. Yes, it's true. I've lost my edge. That's right. I was sitting in the sun today. So, yes, took away my edge. Burned it off. 
Yeah, but there's nowhere to go. I mean, I, you know, I basically concluded, okay. you know, that I know everything that I know now when I was five years old, basically. I mean, I, you know, it was right there in front of us. It was quite obvious that life was anuses and creepy crap all over this place. And so, what the hell? <laughs> it was already fail. Well, I understand that, you know, theoretical physics is just that, theoretical. I mean, it's just, most of it's just bullshit. Made up speculation bullshit. It has nothing to do with anything. It just, it's just as bad as religion. It's just this cheap, convenient, um, you know, we have something that's weird, so let's come up with the most preposterous excuse ever. Oh, well, the photons are, you know, they only behave that way when we're watching them. <laughs> yeah, so now the photons are worried about who's watching them. Oh, please. Yeah, whatever. I don't know what a Google expert is. And speaking of trolls, there's still somebody posted, somebody still has my name and number posted somewhere on some solicitation on YouTube for anal phone sex. I mean, it's two weeks now. I gotta find... I mean, and then people in this stupid phone will actually... They'll leave a message saying, I was just reading the ad saying I should call you for anal phone sex, and so I just wanted to let you know that somebody posted your number. But they don't tell me where they posted it, so it doesn't do me much fucking goddamn good. Yeah, I should have a suicide hotline. <laughs> yeah, call me and I'll get you out that window even quicker. You're a little hesitant to jump off that building? Well, I'll get you there. I'll get the job done for you. Just give me a call. Oh, I don't care who. What's the difference? Point is, it's just, it's just so, such a, you know, it's just such a petty way to attack somebody for being petty. Like, say I'm a bad person somehow. I did some horrible thing. So this is what you do. You know, I mean, it's just stupid. You know, whatever. I'm not changing my number. It's my fucking number. I had the same phone number for 40 fucking years. Well, 30. 30 years I've had this phone number. Why should I give it away? I don't think quantum mechanics is bullshit. I think the conclusions being drawn about what underlies uh, the quantum style effects is bullshit. I don't think photons know when we're watching them. Yeah, this team is all bronzy. I'm trying to get there. My orange cam's cheating a little, but I did get sun today. That was good. Yeah, right, come on, people. Let's argue about something. Come on. Are you? Yeah, I can't. No one's talking, so I don't hear anybody but me. So far. <laughs> 